Greetings. As you may know, the coronavirus pandemic going on right now has taken several lives and is heavily impacting our lives. Most of us have heard of this disease's damaging effects on the lungs. Most patients have trouble breathing and need ventilators to help them do so. However, not many of us are aware of coronavirus's impact on other parts of our body. In this video, we will be focusing on whether COVID-19 affects the liver. Recent studies have told us that coronavirus can lead to liver inflammation, though in the majority of cases, the inflammation is mild. However, in cases of severe coronavirus infection, the liver inflammation can be more significant. What this means is that researchers found higher than normal levels of liver enzymes, aspartate transaminase, AST, and alanine transaminase, ALT, in the blood of COVID-19 patients, and that more severe infections exhibit higher levels of liver enzymes. Fortunately, the vast majority of individuals with COVID-19 infection who have liver involvement have only mild abnormalities that typically return to normal when the infection goes away. Measuring AST and ALT levels is a standard medical test used to diagnose acute liver disease and hepatitis, which is the inflammation of the liver. Alright, there is evidence that the liver is affected in COVID-19 patients, but how? Researchers have found ACE2 receptors present in the cells that form the liver's bile duct. When the spikes on the coronavirus bind to the ACE2 receptors, it will be able to enter and subsequently infect the cell. Although this finding raises the possibility that the virus infects the liver through the bile duct, no virus has been detected in the bile duct or the liver in COVID-19 patients yet. Possible alternative causes of liver damage have been reported. Drug-induced liver injury has been found in the livers of patients when given certain antivirals and antimalarials. Also, oxygen deprivation as a result of respiratory problems from the coronavirus could lead to liver dis dysfunction. It is most likely that some of the inflammatory cells generated in response to COVID-19 infection wind up in the liver and contribute to the inflammation, leading to the elevated liver enzyme test results. Are patients with hepatitis B at higher risk for COVID-19? Post-transplant patients who are immunocompromised, patients with liver cirrhosis, and liver cancer patients appear to be at higher risk for coronavirus infection. Dr. Robert Gish, the medical director of the Hepatitis B Foundation, says, if you're living with chronic hepatitis B or C without cirrhosis, you should be following the standard precautions for the coronavirus infection. The coronavirus does affect liver inflammation and liver enzymes and can also cause liver dysfunction. So individuals living with cirrhosis will be at higher risk for liver disease progression and decompensation. Furthermore, the patients with fatty liver disease, as well as patients who have undergone liver transplantation, may have underlying metabolic comorbidities such as diabetes, hypertension, or obesity, which again are associated with more severe COVID-19 infection. If you have these conditions, you should practice good hand hygiene, physical distancing, and other health safety measures, as recommended by your healthcare provider, to reduce your risk of becoming infected. COVID-19 can impact patients with liver diseases either directly or indirectly. Hepatitis B is particularly prevalent in Asian American and Pacific Islander populations. To learn more about COVID-19 and Hepatitis B and how they may affect you, please visit worldhepatitisalliance.org slash missingmillions slash COVID-19.